Okay, so Michael, when we came, mm -hmm. you took a stone, yes. and I did the same. I didn't know that there was a tradition, a Jewish tradition. So now we have uh, over the tomb, we have two, two stones, yours uh, and mine. Yeah. Well, what is this tradition about? What do you know about this tradition first? I don't know exactly, and, and also G.L. Moreno is not an Orthodox Jew, so uh, maybe he would also like to have some flowers, but uh, uh, it's, it's a kind of, you know, you're going back to earth when, when you pass, uh, and uh, the stone is something uh, uh, stays. So, get put more if more people coming. You, you, you have a, mm -hmm. stones. And, uh, so uh, the history, I don't know exactly. You need to ask uh, more, more religious people about this. Uh, but uh, but uh, I learned that this is a, a ritual you can do with when you go to a grave where uh, Jewish people are. And what is the story? What do you, what do you know about the story? How is it that Moreno is buried here? Yes, yes. Uh, it's uh, so he was here starting five, six years. He came from Bucharest, uh, going to school, going to university, starting to work in Bad Fürslau. And then 20, 1925 left to United States and forever lived there and died there in 1974. And uh, uh, the family, Serka uh, said, uh, he wrote in his autobiography he was born on the sea. So also the ashes should go to the sea and suggested uh, this to the Jonathan and, and Regina. And they said, no, no, they don't like it. Uh, so uh, the urn stayed in Beacon on the fireplace on top. Mm -hmm. uh, from 1974 until 1993, so nearly 20 years. And uh, the Austrian Society of Literature, uh, the Mr. Kraus, Wolfgang Kraus, uh, uh, he, he came again. Moreno was in Vienna and uh, edited uh, expressionistic literature, journals, and, and himself uh, was a poet and writer. Uh, and he, 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 he read the pages and said, Moreno wanted to be buried in Vienna, wanted to come back to Vienna. And uh, with this idea he approached, uh, he found out where, where to find Serka and uh, family and they agreed uh, that the urn will be transferred uh, to, to Vienna uh, in a honorary grave. This is a honorary grave of the city of, of, of Vienna. Uh, and uh, he personally flew to New York and uh, came back with the urn in, in, in the luggage. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was uh, uh, in... in, in November uh, 1993, uh, it was put in here, in uh, the fountain space, and uh, it's, it's, uh, it's not a coffin, it's a urn here. Normally there are coffins, uh, but uh, this is a, I don't know, they, they made, made it differently here. And uh, uh, because it's called uh, uh, the place of uh, the honorary graves uh, with the urns, uh, Normally they are in the walls because it's only small, not a, a whole coffin, uh, but uh, here it's like this. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a ceremony in, in uh, uh, Great Lights was here, another uh, uh, psychodramatist and, and of course uh, writers uh, because they, they, they did this uh, I, uh, uh, to, to make it possible. 
And uh, there was also a question what, what, uh, about what is ins the inscription there. So it's, it's the name Jacob Levi Moreno and you see it's written not in German, it's in, in English with a C, Jacob. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, his birthday, it's correct, and also his death days in Deacon, it's correct, and he's writing the founder of sociometry, group psychotherapy, uh, psychodrama. Um, my, my personal opinion is uh, that group psychotherapy also existed, group analysis in, in, in the United States at the same time, so <laughs> mm -hmm. there are also co-founders about this, uh, but uh, uh, okay, it's like that. And uh, um, I think Serka said uh, he wanted to be remembered with this uh, sentence, the man who brought joy and laughter into the psychiatry. Mm -hmm. GL and uh, so it it uh, was put here in the stone uh, uh, as an inscription. Mm -hmm. Good.